my philosophy of strength training is, and again, I'm a gym teacher that, you know, you can, you can do body weight calisthenics at any age. It's not going to stunt their growth. Okay, and obviously you don't want a seven-year-old jumping on the bench press. All right, but there's a lot of different things that you can do. Okay, a regular push-up is fine. If a kid can't do a push-up, you can do modified push-ups where they just kind of get in push-up position and they tap their shoulders like this. Okay, pretty much I do that with five-year-olds. They can do that, and that's getting their, their shoulders strengthened. Um, you can play a game called, um, you can play that game in your kid like slaps where you put your hands like this and you try to slap the hand. You can do that with push-up position. You could put two kids in push-up position. I don't know, Dave, you want to demonstrate this? Kurt, come on out here. <laughs> I want to get Kirk on film. So Kirk and I are going to get in push-up position. I can do this with seven-year-old kids. And so it's my turn. I'm going to try to hit his hand and he's going to try to hit my hand. Okay? And we just go just like that. And that's a good warm-up exercise. Okay? Again, the kids are going to have fun with it. They're going to enjoy it. Yet they don't know that they're actually working on their upper body strength, but you're, they are. Um, that's a real good exercise you can do with them. Therabands, they come in you know, different strengths, different resistance. These are red, which are um, light, but you can go yellow, which are extra light, and gray, which are double XL, or double, double light. And you can kind of cut them up. Now the problem is they, they get kind of sticky you have to put baby powder on them, but you can cut them up in any way you want. You can have them work on their shoulder strength, just doing this. You could have a six-year-old, seven-year-old doing this. It's not gonna hurt them, okay? Behind, okay? Then you can extend that, you know, doing shoulder extensions. They can do front, they can do side. Again, make sure that they're not doing this and not bending their back. It's not a competition. If, they, if you got a kid that can only do this without bending their back, then they only do this, okay? Um, you can go back and you can, do, you can do arm curls, okay? Again, that's mainly for your maybe age nine and 10 and older. You can do tricep extensions, okay? If you go online, and I can send it to you too. I have a whole program just based on therabands. I can send it to you if you want me to. I have no problem, just email me. But if you go online, there are a zillion different exercises you can do with a theraband that's safe and it's effective for strength training for a seven, eight, even a six-year-old kid. Um, swinging a weighted bat, that's great for any age. Swinging two bats. Now, I have to, like, disagree with him on this. I, don't, I hate weighted bats. Go right ahead. I like them. But, um, why I hate them? That's probably why he's beaten me the last couple years. That he's... It's just why I hate them is you just lose the feel of a real bat. I mean, it's just like a weighted bat, okay, then you use your real bat, or you put, stick a donut on a bat, and then it just throws your timing off. That's my philosophy. So um, I know you can swing two bats like the old days. Okay, I'll go along with you on that. But I, I like it because it strengthens the wrists and the hands. Well, they're but, four and five years old. What, what, um, how, how strong could they be? Whatever. <laughs> um, Dave and I will disagree on that one. Agree to disagree. Um, long toss. I was at a coaching clinic a couple years ago given by the area scout of the Chicago White Sox. And Ozzie Guillen said that he didn't want to draft any more American-born ball players. The question was why? And the answer was is that, according to Ozzie, American-born players don't throw as much as the Dominican players do. And they don't have strong arms because they, th they don't throw. And I'm saying throw, I mean throw every day. If you want, the only thing that's been scientifically proven to strengthen your arm is long toss, as far as baseball strength. Long toss, if you just start, if, you know, that red box right there is my throwing partner, we start off this close, and again, this, you can do this for age, you know, seven and up. They throw nice and close, and then every couple minutes, they take a step back. They take a step back, and they take a step back, 
and you try to stretch the arm out as long as possible and throw the ball as long as possible. And you can do this every day. Because you're not throwing the ball hard in long toss. You're just reaching back, stretching the arm out, trying to increase your distance. I saw this, Dave and I were talking about this film. Um, it's on YouTube, and uh, it's really good. We just we were just talking about it like literally 10 minutes before this presentation began. It's funny, we both saw it, which again kind of tells you that you know, Dave and I are always looking for new stuff and new materials. And as coaches, we encourage you to do the same. The minute that Dave and I stop learning about baseball is the time when it's time for us to leave and do something else with our lives. But, so it's funny that we're both talking about this YouTube video and we both saw it. But he had these guys playing long toss for about 20 minutes. And then they came in real close and they started throwing the ball as hard as they possibly could and they had a radar gun showing the velocity. It was pretty impressive how fast these kids were able to throw. Um, again, that's for your older kids but you could stretch them out as long as possible for long toss, and then when they're done, have them gradually come back in, and when they're at a good distance, have them throw the ball as hard as they can, and they should be able to throw the ball harder. It was a pretty good video. Um, but as far as strength training is concerned, that's what I would recommend for your kids. You're gonna have some kids, again, they're just gonna struggle to close the glove. Just have them go home and practice closing the glove. That's strength training right there. It's working the forearms, the wrists, the hands, the fingers. Do it while they're watching TV. The question is for long toss, do you want them to throw the ball high? And then for regular catch, do you want them to throw the ball more in a line? For regular catch, yes, I want them to throw the ball in a line. Okay? It's called, uh, if you want to go on YouTube, it's the Alan Jager Long Toss Program. J A E G E R. And it's uh, what the pros do for long tossing. And again, um, high is not necessarily great when it comes to long toss, but the full range of motion, full range of motion. Yeah. I mean, when, the kids, when the kids are throwing long toss, inevitably they're going to be throwing the ball a little bit higher than normal. But you know. your kid's long toss won't be that long, okay? But it will stretch them out. 